Okay, I'm having an idea. Today is Saturday, 31st of August 2024. From the history point of view, in 1956, the president gave his assent to the state's honorary organization bill on August 31st, 1956. The president of India gave his assent to the state's reorganization bill, which is now known as the State's Reorganization Act. Starting the newspaper and with the newspaper, the Hindu state is that most top scientists at uh, Indian Council of Agriculture Research hired through late roll entry since 2007 by passing reservation norms. The ICAR is one of the largest agriculture and allied activities research bodies globally. It employs 6,304 scientists. Over 2,700 senior scientists, including HODs, ADGs, DDGs, are hired through the interviews only science reservations. Those recruited through the examination seek ban on late entry as it creates a toxic uh, work culture, blocks and advancement. More than 2,700 scientists at the India's top farm research body, accounting for an overwhelming majority of its senior level hires at the Indian Council of Agriculture Research. ICAR have been recruited through the late entry since 2007, undermining the goals of the reservation policy documents assessed by the Hindu reveal. At July 29, resolution of the Agricultural Research Service Scientists Forum (ARSSF) and association representing about 3,750 scientists at our Indian Council of Agriculture Research has sought a ban on late entry into the research body. The resolution says that the late entry system creates a conflict among those these two groups of scientists and made uh, and has made it for a toxic work culture, which affects the efficiency of the system. It adds, scientists who have served for more than 25 years at ICAR and those who were recruited by ARS Agricultural Scientists Recruitment Examination are not getting semi RMP research management positions and RMP positions as a scientist is recruited to late entry are blocking the opportunities. A Palestinian TikTok star who shared the details of Gaza life under a siege is killed by Israeli airstrike. Plus, in this undated photo provided by Helmi Hayris Mohammed Medo Halimi, left and twin brothers Mohammed Hayris Center and Halimi Hayris right stand on the beach in the Gaza. Nineteen-year-old Palestinian TikTok star Medo Halimi began making his tent life videos series when he took refugee with his family earlier this year in a strip of southern Gaza that Israel has designated a humanitarian safe zone. It was another day of war in Gaza, another day of what 19-year-old Palestinian TikTok star Medo Halimi called his tent life, as he often did in videos documenting life is mundane. Absurdities in the enclave. Halimi on Monday walked to his local internet cave, rather a tent with a Wi Fi wire displaced Palestinians can connect to the outside world to meet his friend and collaborator Talal Murad. In the United States Defense Acceleration Ecosystem Summit to be held at Stanford University next month. Top leaders gather at uh, Indus X uh, summit to enhance cross border defense innovation ecosystem between India and the United States. The third edition of the India United States Defense Acceleration Ecosystem Indus X summit will be held at the Stanford University in the California early next month, during which top defense leaderships uh, from the two countries would brainstorm on enhancing cross border defense innovation ecosystems. Former Secretary of the State Condoleezza Rice are among the key leaders to address the summit to be hosted by United States India Strategic and Partnership Forum USISPF along with the Stanford University's Gordian Note Center for National Security Innovation and who were in institution on September 9 and September 10. Going towards the Hindustan Times News were stated that India says Modi Biden discussed Bangladesh situation during phone call. Prime Minister Narendra Modi with the United States President Joe Biden. 
New Delhi. India on Friday reacted to the lack of references to Bangladesh in the United States read out of a phone call between Prime Minister and the Modi and the President Joe Biden saying that the situation in the neighborhood in the neighboring country was discussed substantially by the two leaders. Media reports had noted that the United States read out of the phone conversation on August 26 made no reference whatsoever to the situation in the Bangladesh. The external affairs ministers, uh, ministry's statement on the same phone call said the two leaders expressed their shared concern on the situation in Bangladesh and emphasized the need to restore law and order and ensure the security of minorities, particularly the Hindus. Cyclone Asana depression over the Arabian Sea intensifies near Gujarat coast. An Indian Coast Guard ship uh, tows a boat Padmavati to safety after it had drifted into the sea due to the rough weather condition of the Tawarka coast in Gujarat. The deep sea, sorry, the deep depression or the Kutch coast and adjoining or areas of Pakistan and North East Arabian Sea has moved western wide westwards and intensified into cyclone storm Asana. Asana pronounced as Asna and lay centered in the same region around 11.30 a.m. on Friday, the Indian Meteorological Department said. The cyclone storm is at a present about 190 km west-northwest of Puj and 100 km west-northwest of Analia, in the Gujarat and 170 km southeast of Karachi in Pakistan. It is likely to continue western northwest uh, over the northeast Arabian Sea away from the Indian coast over the next two days and move further away from the Indian coast towards the Oman, the Indian Meteorological Department says. Kolkata rape murder case live updates. NHRC issues a notice to the state police chief over the brutal force in the protests. Kolkata rape murders case live updates. Police personnel keep a vigil, a vigil during a protest march by BJP Mahila Morcha activists. Kolkata rape murder case live updates. Union Minister for Women and Child Development Annapurna Devi on Friday criticized the West Bengal Chief Minister of Month of Energy for her letter to Prime Minister Nanda Modi in which she demanded fast records and time bound investigation for crime against women. They claimed that the information in the Banerjee's letter is uh, factually incorrect and said there's an attempt to cover up delays in the establishment of fast strike special courts after SCS in West Bengal. Kolkata rape murder case I updated and charge issues notes to the Kolkata police a chief or brutal forces used during the protest. Kolkata rape murder case I updates at the National Human Rights Commission and HRC has issued a notice to the Kolkata Police Commissioner regarding the illegal use of excessive or brand brutal force on protesters on August 27. The demonstrators were seeking justice for the victim of the Arjikar Medical College rape murder case. The NHRC has requested an action taken report from the Police Commissioner within two weeks. Going towards the economy of the country from the business point of view, bank credit growth rises. Further to a warm 15.1% as of July month, deposits lag behind the Reserve Bank of India. According to the RBI growth in credit and card outstanding declined to 22% to rupees 2.75 lakh crore from 32.4% a year ago. Non-food bank credit registered a growth of 15.1% to rupees 162.92 lakh crore as of the July month of 2024 as compared with the 14.7% a year ago. According to the Reserve Bank of India latest data, credited to agriculture and allied activities uh, remained robust, registering a growth of 18.1% at Rs. 21.55 lakh crore in the July month of 2024, compared with the 16.7% a year ago, Reserve Bank of India said. Oil and National Gas Corporation Vidish 6 NGC 6 United States not to operate projects in the section ahead of Venezuela under Chevron model. Given Washington sanctions on the late American countries, oil and gas sector companies cannot use American banking channels services at United States dollars for these projects unless they have specific license from the Office of the Foreign Assets Control of the United States Department of Treasury. The model is referred uh, to as the Chevron model in the oil industry. Because United States major Chevron was first one to operate 
in Venezuela through this road. DGT recommends anti-dumping duty on aluminium foils imported from China. Anti-dumping investigations are conducted by countries to determine whether wood domestic industries have been harmed due to surge in cheap imports. The Ministry of the Finance make the final decision on whether to impose duties. The industry warned that uh, an anti-dumping duty would increase the cost of downstream finished goods, making the Indian downstream industry unwayable. Going towards the world the news, including Norway's princess ties the knot with the shaman despite controversy. Brazilian judge orders suspension of Elon Musk's ex with legal dispute. Trump has criticism over the abortion comments in Florida. World Health Organization assures a monkeypox outbreak in Africa could be controlled in the six months. Japan reports surge in the elderly dying alone as population ages. Zelensky has urged allies help uh, to defend airspace as Russia hits high rise in Ukraine's Kharkiv. Donald Trump to address moms for liberty as Kamala Harris launches reproductive freedom tour. Putin to visit Mongolia despite risk of arrest under ICC warrant. White Israeli forces chose local Hamas commander kill him in the West Bank. Denmark court rejects extradition of man accused in 1995 Bengal arms drop case. The going to the size and tech we have, SpaceX Falcon 9 may resume flights with the wild FAA probe underway. This image created from a SpaceX video shows the moment of when, uh, when the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket's first stage fell over the in flames after the landing on an ocean platform offshore in the Atlantic on the August 28, 2024. Federal Aviation Administration FAA said flights may resume provided all other license requirements are met. The SpaceX Falcon 9 vehicle may return to flight operations by the overall investigation of the anomaly during a recent Starlink mission remains open. The United States Federal Aviation Administration said on Friday, August 30, 2024. SpaceX made the return to flight request for the workhorse week on Thursday, August 29, 2024, and the FAA gave approval on Friday, August 30, 2024. The agency said flights may resume provided all of other license requirements are met. Monkeypox and pox outbreaks in the Africa could be ended in the six months World Health Organization chief says. To date, Africa has received just a tiny fraction of the vaccine is needed to slow the spread of the virus, especially in Congo, which has most cases more than 18,000 suspected cases and 629 deaths. The head of the World Health Organization believes that ongoing monkeypox outbreaks in Africa might be stopped in the next six months, and said on Friday, August 30, 2024, that the agency's first shipment of vaccines should arrive in Congo within the days. To date, Africa has received just a tiny fraction of the vaccine is needed to slow the spread of the virus, especially in Congo, which has the most cases more than 18,000 suspected cases and 629 deaths. Country is still far apart on the conference of party 29 financial finance global. The 2024 United Nations Climate Change Conference UNFCCC COP29 will convene in November 2024 in Baku, Azerbaijan. The Conference of Party 29 Summit will be held in Azerbaijan in November month with less than three months until this year. Conference of Party 29 and United Nations climate negotiation countries remain far from the agreement on the summit's biggest task to agree a new funding target to help developing countries cope with climate change. A negotiation document uh, published by the United Nations Climate Body on Thursday, August 29, 2004, set out the split to serve between the nations ahead of the meeting in a buckle next month where negotiators uh, attempted to inch forward some of the sickest issues. The document suggests seven options reflecting countries' competing positions for a possible Conference of Party 29 deal. The new target will replace well the nation's current commitment uh, to provide hundred billion dollar each year in a climate finance to developing countries. China is classed as a developing country by the United Nations. A rice system developed in the 1990s, which is still to use today. Beijing rejects the idea that it should be on the hook or to pay climate finance. 
Negotiators expect the issue of world health uh, who should appear to be one of the biggest hurdles to agreeing a finance deal at Conference of Party 29. Another option in the document reflecting the Canada's position suggesting uh, changing the list of the countries that contribute to the target to be based on their per capita emissions and an income, a major that could also add the United Arab Emirates, Qatar and other to the contributor list. Sorry, lessons from the hills. House is built using the Taj Dewari technique at Himachal village. Small windows to retain indoor heat and slope roofs with a slate to drain rainwater. Our architects uh, can borrow elements from traditional mountain architecture for contemporary homes. Houses in the hills usually have a picturesque view dreamy quality becoming one of the slopes but hills are known for challenging climatic conditions like extreme cold snow and even uh, earthquakes there are also difficulties in the transporting materials for construction on rough terrain how did indigenous buildings traditionally respond to these conditions let's have a look the primary criteria in your house had to satisfy was to, uh, to be sturdy and resilient and maintain a comfortable indoor climate while the natural response in the hot climates was to orient away from the sun, in cold climates it was to get most out of the sun. Now floors that would be cooler were used for storage and lives and livestock, while upper floors were used for living. Balconies and terraces became uh, important living spaces on sunny days. However, the hills are not a uh, monolith. The different regions have their unique responses to local conditions. Many indigenous houses of Himachal Pradesh use wood and stone in the distinct local technique called Katkuni. Kat meaning wood and Kuni corner. The wood, usually local Deodar wood, is laid long horizontal layers alternating with a layer of the stone. No motor or nails are used and the strength of building comes from these horizontal beams rather than the vertical supports like columns and pillars. This was a safeguard building against the earthquake. Vertical members are more prone to buckling during tremors, explains uh, Rahul Bhushan, a Himachal based architect working on a reviving the Katkuni technique with the horizontal supports. The house might shake but would not collapse. The technique ha has been around uh, for several hundred years, helping protect generations from the earthquakes. Katkuni House at Kosol village in Himachal Pradesh. Katkuni House were often built with an air gap between the two layers of the wall. Air is a bad conductor that is to not allow heat to pass through, so this uh, helps retain warmth indoors. Slope roofs with the slate help drain rainwater, and interior walls were plastered with the mud. The outer facade was left exposed, giving Katkuni buildings their distinctive, beautiful aesthetic. Another technique is in, the, in this region was the Dhaji Diwari. This used a crisscrossing system of the wooden posts. Filled in with the stones, the Dhaji technique is also resistant to the earthquakes and is used to maintain in the mountainous regions of the South Asia like Kashmir and Pakistan. Chinni Koti in uh, Himachal was built without any mortar. It might appear that technique like this would only suit some low-rise buildings and will be impractical for the present. But the tallest Katkuni uh, structure in the Himachal uh, is more than 12 stories high and built without any mortar called Chinni Koti. It used to be for a port and it is believed to have been built in the early 17th century. At last there is a famous quotation said by a famous engineer, Sonam Wangchuk, who is born in, uh, on 1st of September 1966 is an in Indian engineer, innovator and educationist. Education reformist. He is a founding director of the Students' Educational and Cultural Movement of Ladakh, SEC MOL, SECMOL. 
which was founded in 1998 by a group of students who had been, in his own words, the victims of an alien education system hoisted on Luda. He is also known for designing the SECMOS campus that runs on a solar energy and uses no fossil fuels for cooking, lighting or heating. Bangkok was instrumental in the launch of Operation New Hope in 1994. The collaboration of the government, village communities and civil society to bring reforms in the government school system. He invented the ice stupa technique that creates artificial glaciers used for storing winter water in the form of a cone-shaped ice heat. Mr. Sona Wangchuk says a famous quotation as he says that I believe that education should be about healing the earth and dealing with the crisis that we are in. He also says that don't blame the child for forgetting lessons. Make the lessons unforgettable. He also says that don't always follow the footsteps. Take time to study there. He also says that if you are not problem solvers, you are not entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs to me are not those who just make money and more money. Entrepreneurs are problem solvers. If you are not problem solvers, you are not entrepreneurs. Secondly, if you are making money and even problem solving, you are not a good entrepreneur. You have to be helping others come up with you, then you are true entrepreneurs. Okay, thank you.